Ja, yeah, maar man, die kopie. Yes, yes, uh, can I go yes? Yes, okay, sorry, I doubled with you just then, that's all right. Okay, well, thanks for that. Um, I'll just um, finish my video off and I'll just uh, pop back and have a quick chat to you. Uh, thanks for that. Yes, yes, I'll, I'll stand by and uh, catch in a few minutes. Roger, 21 hours. Okay, I was just talking to the merman there at Barabies, about nine miles away. This is the Grandstand base station I've been working on this afternoon. It's my own radio out of my own collection. It's something I bought on eBay about three years ago and haven't got round to sorting out. Um, information is a bit sparse on these and they can be absolute pigs to work on and with a general purpose synthesizer which was, which, was ob which was obsolete when these were made in 81. Because a lot of features on you've got the clock, um, public address feature, CB, but noise blanket is a real noise blanket, uses quite a lot of circuitry and it works very well. Um, high load power for the uh, transmit for 4 watts or 0.4. Just turn the volume down. SWR meter built in. The clock can wake you up in the morning with CB and you've got the clock of uh, things and you've got a sleep countdown timer, you've got a dimmer for the clock. Channel, that's a delta tune, it says clarifier. RF gain squelch, SWR set because you've got the built-in SWR meter tone control on volume. On the back, unusually, you've got a DIN speaker socket, which is a bit of a pain, and you've got a tape recorder socket, which is very useful to get a, you know, to you can record the, the receiver. Unfortunately, like the only other rig that I'm aware of which has a tape recorder socket, it only records the receive and not what you're saying, which is a shame. So that's it. The Grandstand base station, and that's from 1981.